Hey Crafty Peeps, it's me Mary, and I'm back today with a larger Timu haul to share with you. But first, I wanted to say thank you so much to all my subscribers, and thank you so much for coming back to my channel to see yet another video. I so appreciate you guys, I really can't tell you how much. <laughs> um, and all of you that are just watching too, thank you so much. And so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, I got a larger Timu haul and it's mostly Alice in Wonderland stuff or stuff I think that goes with Alice in Wonderland and space theme stuff as usual, but a lot of Alice in Wonderland type stuff, sort of like this, where it's not really Alice in Wonderland, but you can use it for that, I'm thinking. So here's my idea. Um, obviously hearts to go with the Queen of Hearts, but what I was thinking, and I'm not sure if this will work, but I think you flip these up. Let me see here. Let's bend them over. And anyway, I was thinking to glue the backs of these to the middle of two book pages, two journal pages, and then have these two ones flip up. So let's see here. So if I glued like the two backs here, it would close in the book like this and then open like this. And I'd have to fix these a little bit, it looks like. Maybe even put something in the middle of here as well, a sticker or something. So there's a bunch of different sizes. I probably can only use the smaller ones in the journals, but I thought that they were so cute. And they were relatively inexpensive, you know, so I'm trying to think of things that I can fit in there without making the journal too expensive. But I love those. So you know it's supposed to hang as one full string, but I'm going to cut them apart. But anyway, there's that. Um, the next thing I got was this space themed necklace. And I really got it just for the necklace. Let me turn off my heater here so it's not so loud. For my son to wear, but I'm thinking it probably would go nicely on the dangle that I made. But it's so cool. It's got all the planets in there, if you can see it. Um, and it's very dimensional and the back is the same. But I really like it. It's like that antique gold color. So I thought that was really pretty. I also got a roll of stickers to open these. And these are cool because they were really inexpensive um, and you get a ton of them. So my son can use these, you know, just on his artwork or stuff like that as well. In addition to me using it in his space journal. I think that he can probably even stick these in his space journal wherever he wanted, but there's a bunch of them, very cool. I also got him a bracelet. He's sort of into jewelry. Um, and this is all the planets around the sun. And then there's also these lava beads, which are cool. So I thought that was really neat, nice and stretchy. I'm pretty sure this one's Saturn, but I'm not sure about the others. Maybe this is Earth. So cool, right? And then I got these. They're sort of a um, smaller version of the gold hearts. Let's see what these look like. Oh yeah, they're the same thing. So they got the two layers there and they're holographic, which is so pretty. So yeah, I love those. And again, I'm gonna cut these apart and put them in the middle of journal pages in the in the journal. I think that it's such a fun way to put things in the journal and have them pop up as 3D elements. And then I got these and, you know, Alice in Wonderland stickers, but they come with so many cool ones. I was just really impressed. I like the characters and how they're drawn on here. Maybe not so much that one, but he's still cute. But I just love 
this version of Alice and the Queen. Sometimes the Queen can be a little scary looking, but I think that these ones are really cute. So I was pretty happy with these. And the Cheshire Cat. There's the Mad Hatter that I like. And I love this one. I think that might be one of my favorite images from the book. And excuse me, because I do have a little cold. I uh, I don't know what's wrong. I thought maybe I had COVID, but I took a COVID test and it was negative. So I guess it's not that. I also picked up these mushroom um, 3D elements. These ones are cool because they have magnets to help them stick together. I'm not gonna use the magnets, but I just thought like if you were really gonna put hang these up or something, it'd be cool to use the magnets. Let's see. Wow, they're really stiff. Oh, I see, yep, and then the magnets stick. Oh, that's so cool, okay. I love this. So isn't this gonna be so cute in the middle of a journal? It's like the perfect size too. Wow, I'm really loving this. And it's really thick paper too. Those are really nice quality. I got this and this has, it's like a journaling kit, I would say, and it's got a ton of elements in it. I'm not gonna go through every one because that would make the video super long and hard to upload, but um, it's got like tickets and these are all like vellum stickers, I would say. And so they're really fun. They got the planets, um, just tons of stickers as you can see here. And then you've got um, littler elements, but that aren't stickers. Like these are just papers. I'm not sure what this has to do with space, but still cute nonetheless. And these papers. And all of these are really thin papers. And they're just fun things to use in the space journal, but there's a lot of stuff in here. So I thought, I love the moon phases. They've even got tags in here. And then larger elements. They've got like maps and stuff like that. So yeah, so this one is a really fun journal kit if you wanted a space um, journal kit or something you know about the stars and the skies and stuff like that. This one does, this haul does have a lot of paper in it. I did pick up this, and this is some space themed paper. And it's, again, it's thin, but not super thin, you know? I mean, it's not cardstock quality, but it's a th definitely a thicker copy paper. But very cool. I love these. I'm gonna try and keep some of this paper in its original um, plastic because I've got so many of them and I don't want them to get mixed up. And I'm just that way, you know? <laughs> I like things back in their package. <laughs> what else can I say? Um, these are another one of those 3D elements that I'm talking about, but this is for my ice cream journal that I recently made. And I thought I could add one of these in there I can open them as a little 3D element in the middle of the journal. So isn't that the cutest? Oh my gosh, I love them. <laughs> I love them more than I thought I was going to. Oh my goodness, so cute, even for a birthday party or something. So yes, they come in different colors. I got, there's like a mint, a light blue, and two pinks. So cute. And then they come with paper clips to hold them together like if you were to hang them from the ceiling. But I am just gonna glue them in the journal. Oh, this is for the mushroom. I got this. This is just a little um, scratch pad. I don't even know if they're sticky notes or not, but it's mercury. Yes, they are sticky notes. Oh, cool. 
but isn't that pretty? Just think a nice little uh, st sticky notepad there to use. I always am jotting stuff down, so dimensions from my packages and you know stuff that I'm selling on eBay and Etsy. And then just little notes if I see somebody um, with a Timu haul, <laughs> that something I want to buy, I write that down. Here's another one of those 3D elements like for a Christmas journal and oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, these are so cute. Oh, I love it. <sighs> and they got a green one too, but it looks like it's going to be a little too big for a journal. But these red ones are perfect. Excuse me. I did pick up a bunch of these ribbons here. And I'll just take this one out of the package so that you can see sort of the texture of it. Isn't that pretty? My gosh, I love these. So I got that color, which is more like a, I don't know, a cream and then a pink. And also this blue. And I'm thinking these for my Alice in Wonderland journals. Maybe for the tassel or on the tops of tags. These next papers are pretty cool. Let me show you these. They are so different, aren't they? It's like, a, gosh, sort of like a fibrous paper. And then it's got, how do I open this? Oh, there we go. It's got this shiny foil on the top of it. There's five sheets in here. I think you could get it in five or 10 sheets, but let me just show you one solid sheet. But again, using these for like clusters in my Alice in Wonderland journal, isn't that pretty? So different, right? I just thought they were so different. So I got that one. I'll just put that over here. I also got this one, and this is supposed to be like a khaki color, it said. Pretty. And I thought I got another one. Oh yeah, here we go. And the pink. Again, sort of matches the um, trims that I just showed you. Here's some more paper. And this is uh, a book theme, I think. It doesn't say on here, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, all about books. And I thought that this would be good to go in my Alice in Wonderland journal. But it's got some really pretty flowers. And look at this one. This is like a brighter page, more what I was thinking. I think that this is AI. I'm not sure how to tell, really. I don't know if you guys are. If you are, let me know because I don't know. It just it looks like AI to me, but I can't. I don't have a definitive like fact to tell me. Oh, yeah, that's AI, you know. It just looks like it. <laughs> but I thought that those were really pretty. Whether it's AI or not, it's still pretty. I know that there's a lot of digitals now that are AI that you can get on Etsy. And here is some Alice in Wonderland paper that I'm really excited about. Um, I did want to forewarn you though that I think that this is a dupe <laughs> of some other paper that I had just recently bought. So I got, I ordered this on Timu several weeks ago and then I went online to scrapbook.com and was looking for Alice in Wonderland paper and this paper came up. It wasn't 8x8 like this is, but it was 12x12 12 12, and it looks a lot like this paper so I'm thinking that this is a dupe of that but you can still get this paper on scrapbook.com now these I'm not sure um, I didn't see those on scrapbook.com or this but I think this one was on there and maybe this but isn't that pretty I mean they're really nice papers I love those. I 
And then I got this pad. This is not necessarily for Alice in Wonderland or Space Journal or ice cream. <laughs> it is just, I won't even take it out of this next package to not have you um, hear the crinkling, but it says chocolate on the top of it. And so I'm thinking it's some kind of French, like, I don't know, bakery maybe, maybe something like that. So, does it, you know, I do want to take it out though because I want to see if it's uh, double-sided or not. But I just thought this was so cool, isn't it? It's like an old ledger of some sort. And it is! Wow, look at that. It's double-sided. So pretty. I love it. There's also a pink variety of this. Not, I don't think it says chocolate, but I think it's like a floral one. Isn't that cool? Here is um, some more paper. And this looks like a tea and macaroon type theme. So I'm thinking it's more of like little, little pastries, little um, sandwiches, that type of thing. And these are, gosh, what size are they? Let me grab out my measuring tape here. It looks like they're about eight and a fourth by six. So like a six by eight. Um, so they're meant to be folded over in the middle of a journal. So for two pages, isn't this one beautiful with the strawberries? I'm loving that one. And there's some little sandwiches, maybe like cucumber sandwiches or something. But so pretty, right? So I think that would be perfect for Alice in Wonderland. A little tea um, bakery type. I won't even, this is sticky. I won't even put that in there. For like the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. And then this one is mushroom paper, which is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy with this one. It's so fairy tale like and it's called Mushroom Fairy, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, and this cover page is thick like cardstock, but the other pages are more like a th double thick copy paper, I would say, but aren't they just beautiful? You get two of each design. Love these pink ones with the flowers. Again, I don't know if this is AI or not. I'm thinking it is, because they just have so many different varieties of it. So pretty though, right? So yes, those would be perfect for Alice in Wonderland. As you know, she eats part of the mushroom. So that's that. And then I'll show you something else real quick. These are more of those 3D elements that I've been talking about, the honeycombs. And these ones are strawberries. <laughs> I don't know what journal I'm going to use these in, to be honest, but I just thought they were so pretty. So let's see what they look like. Oh my gosh, aren't they so cute? So cute. So they come in this red variety and then also a pink one. Let's see the pink one. Oh, I can't wait to see this. It's like I'm gonna have to make some kind of a strawberry or fruit journal or something like that. Oh my gosh, so cute. Of course, a fly just flew by. How did that get in here? <laughs> but look at this pink strawberry. Oh my gosh, I love it. So cute, okay. Another thing that I got, I saw this on Paper Terrace. I don't know if you watch that channel. It's Jessica on Paper Terrace. She got these leaf dies off Timu and she made the prettiest things with them. So I, of course, went on there <laughs> and got some as well. But look at them. They're like, I don't know, like crackled leaves or something with holes in them. They're so pretty. 
I love them. So yeah, so there's one, two, three, four, five of them in the package. So those, and then I got these. This is gonna be like for a fairy tale journal. I just couldn't pass these up. They just look so serious. Look at how serious those frogs look. Like, <laughs> what kind of day is he having, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. They're so cute. Now these were a little pricey. I think that when I bought them, they were three something for 10 of them. And I think that's pretty pricey for charms. But um, I, I also think that I got a few price adjustments on them. So I think that they came down to almost low $2 couple more things here. I got one more pad of paper. And this is definitely like tea and small sandwich theme. So of course for my Alice in Wonderland journal. Isn't that so pretty? I love that tear tray. So elegant. Just such pretty, pretty like uh what would you call these? Not pictures, but tablescapes maybe. I love this one, how clear it is. Pretty, right? So those. And then lastly, I got some Alice in Wonderland posters. So these are larger. I think they're 16 by 11. And it says that they were licensed posters but it just looks like they've been blown up from like a DVD or something. So I don't think that they are because the quality is not really there. They're still pretty and I'm still gonna find a way to use them. I just, I don't think they were quite what I was looking for. But that is it for my team haul friends. I hope that you enjoyed it, sort of a longer one. Um, I hope that everybody's having a great day and just enjoying this nice weather that we're sort of having here in Michigan anyway. And um, before um, winter comes. So anyway, I hope that everybody's doing great. And thank you so much again for coming to my channel. I so appreciate it. And until next time, friends, love ya. Bye-bye.